My name is Mike Rayfield. I'm the general manager of the mobile business unit at NVIDIA. What we have here is a, uh, is a whole line of high definition mobile internet devices. Uh, there's tablets, there's clamshells. These are all devices that are capable of doing uh, the HD internet experience for days. They're all based on this module right here. This is a complete computer on a small module. And we'll, we can go through and look at all these, but uh, these will start to show up this year before the holidays. Uh, they'll be distributed by the wireless carriers of the world, and they'll show up in homes. Is what is it? This is a this is a Tegra. This is a full computer. This, this is a full HD computer. It's got it's got the computer on a chip, which is our Tegra processor. It's got memory. It's got flash. It's got DRAM. It's got all the power management, and all the devices we'll show you in just a moment are based on this. This is this is tiny. This is tiny. And everything is there. Everything is there. This is a full motherboard. The only thing that's not there is not big enough for connectors. It's not big enough for like the HDMI plug and all these I things. I can't fit the connector, so I have to put it on a little, a cheap board, and I put connectors around it. It's a special. It's a bigger board that kind of hooks up all Literally the Literally, just for the connector. It's only to yeah. root through the because the, the HDMI, for example, it would hook uh, it the things for here, that. It comes out here. Right. There. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I'll show you that in a moment. Awesome. So should we walk over sure. there? Sure. Yeah. Let's. So, so all of these devices are based on this. Uh, this is the compound this version. Is, correct. The CN88. It's a uh, beautiful, very, very thin device, as you'll notice. Very light. This device will uh, will work for between 10 and 15 hours of web browsing. It's got flash acceleration. What do you say? Do what acceleration? Flash acceleration yeah. for web, for YouTube videos. So is that something that all of them have? Or yes. Some of them have figured all it out. All of them so have. We because we did the optimization for our customers yeah. and we gave it to them. But is it finished yet? The flash support? Are you still no, working on it? it we're still working on it, but it's uh, it's basically it's basically uh, to the point where you can go off and use it. As it ships in production in the fourth quarter, it will be spectacular. 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 Uh, does that mean HD flash? HD flash, uncompromised web experience for days. And this is really the thing that people have been sometimes having problem with these. Uh, it's not, they go to a website that says like doesn't work. Yeah. Right? You get this little warning sign, and nobody yeah. likes that. So, uh, and what is this model? This is the uh, this is the uh, Wistron model. Um, this is a little bit larger display. Uh, a little bit larger device, and then for a smaller device, we have uh, this is for Mobi Novo, and you'll notice this is the uh, this is the uh, what we call the RAM. So we give this user interface to people; they can go off and, and ship with this. So when you, when a customer would get this from their telecom carrier, they just have this great pleasing display. They open it up, they click, they go to the web, they go to YouTube, they go whatever, do, do whatever the carrier has, has uh, set it up for. So uh, the, the thing that NVIDIA really does is this 3D overlay interface, or how do you call this? So what we do is we, this is uh, this is all the CE6 kernel. Uh, we, we built this, the 3D interface, and you see it goes away, when you use it, it pops up, the latest applications you've run will all be sitting here. We built uh, the application layer on top of this that I, that I mentioned has flash acceleration um, and it does does uh, 1080p and 720p video playback. And uh, do some of them have HDMI outputs? Yes, they do. So um, this is a great set. See all these beautiful cut sets here? And this is, uh, let me show you this. So you, you unplug this. What you see is this folds this off. Rolls up like this, and then it kicks back down, and, and you see the interface. And this thumb here is the battery? Right, exactly. So that, they actually put a, kind of a big battery in it, so it could like three play. Cell battery. It's three a three-cell battery. It's a three-cell battery. Most of them are about 24 watts. And uh, so this one has an HDMI connector. Correct. And uh, that's pretty amazing. So let's just jump, uh, just jump to, the, to, to the screen over here. OK. Because uh, you're actually showing it. So now what we're showing here, this is that same device. And coming out HDMI, 
What yeah. we're playing is a uh, is a 1080p video. 1080p video is right. just coming out of this just laptop. Right out of here. This is just an HDMI right here. This is an HDMI connector. 1080p. Right here. 1080p. And can you upscale, downscale, and all these things? Sure. You can play. You can play 720p, 1080p. Uh, you you can play various bit rates. This happens to be pretty high, like a 10 megabit uh, per second stream. Yeah. So very high quality stream. Is there a limit of the bit rates? What's that? Is there an up limit for bit rates? Or? Um, I think. I think the upper limit is between 10 and 15 megabits. This is huge. That's huge. It's huge. Most of, most people see streams that are less than a megabit. Yeah. So I stream at two and megabits. This, this, so this system right here, the display is off. It's burning. This system is burning under one watt of power. The whole system doing this, including driving the display. One watt. So under you, one watt. So do you know how long it will last on the three cell battery? A three cell battery. That means it'll last uh, between 15 and 20 hours. 15 and 20 hours of HD video right. without, but usually you have power if you have a TV, right? I mean, yeah, if you have a TV, you have power, but, but you could watch the video here for a couple hours and know you don't do anything to your battery life. That's just awesome. It's spectacular. Yeah, and uh, and you can also, of course, watch the HD video on the screen, of course. Correct. 1080p. Correct. For that, you can do 8 or 10 hours. 8 or 10 hours. Right. Because, on the display. Yeah. Because there's a backlight. Right. There's a. There's, we, we assume there's between a one and a two watt backlight. Sure. And so it's quite. It's quite an experience. And you'll see. I've shown this on a 20 foot display, and it looks spectacular. So uh, there you have it. It's a Blu-ray uh, replacement as well. Probably not Blu-ray just yet. Not but yet. The other interesting thing is, is these these devices are very inexpensive. They'll go to the carriers for between one and two hundred dollars. One and two hundred dollars. Right. Okay, let's let's go back to the okay. to the other models. Okay. This just uh, one and two hundred dollars, and that's that's the that's the plan price. Oh. And we've got a couple other devices here. We've got this is a uh, a different form factor. So Moby Novo, it's a uh, it's a tablet. It's got the uh, it's got the rail as well. If I can get my finger down there. Same it's same same rail. Yeah. Somebody might have the somebody, somebody corrupt or something. Right. But is, when, it, how, how, how soon is it uh, going to be actually like released? Is it like ready? These are going to these are going to start to show up in carriers. Um, some of these devices for this holiday season. So people will be getting these for Christmas, Christmas. this year. So uh, it's still a few months development, right? It's still it's not so much they have to get qualified. We just introduced all these devices to the carriers. They're just starting to get picked up. They'll go through field trials, they'll go through changes in what applications they yeah. want, and then they'll be off and running. But how much more do you need to do to optimize everything, you know, like optimize the, the flash, for example, and all that? There's very little. Very little? Very little. So uh, this is something you could do like this? Or? Yes, very quickly. With NVIDIA, you I mean, because we to... couldn't show, if it wasn't a great experience, we couldn't show it here. Right. right? And we did, we showed it to yeah. hundreds of press and analysts, and they loved it. So was there like some, uh, that might be a secret, but was this there like a rush like to make it work before it's a Computex or not really? You know, no, you don't need we're business we're, we're in, right? There's yeah. always a rush. Yeah. <laughs> Why do like, you do things to get to a trade stage. show, yeah. Yeah. right? But this is, a, this is a great Pegatron device, comes in a different color. You might want it for your daughter, it's pink. Um, and it's again, I've got HD video running. So super, super, what's it called? Uh, uh, what do you say? It's just like super fast. Very responsive. Everything is in instant. Extremely responsive. Yeah. And and again, instant on, days of battery life, and great HD video. Pretty cool. cool. These are um. So this is uh this is our development system. So this is what our customers go off and develop phones and mobile internet devices with. It can boot either an Android or Windows Mobile, whichever they prefer. Ooh, can we can we try some Android? Is it really booting Android? That sounds cool. It'll take a second. Um, so, so there, you, you're actually booting Android or Windows Mobile. We just get to pick which one we want to boot. That's pretty cool. It's like dual boot. It's dual boot, cool. which is pretty fun. And so um, they have been playing for this with this for a while already. We've got about a thousand of these in customers' hands. Yeah. And they're off developing systems, whether they be systems like this or cell phones like this. And so it has, does it have exactly the same kind of small chip in there? Yes. The difference is, is it doesn't have the module. It's just got the chip, just got the Tegra. Just this, this, this chip. So there's Android. It's Android. Right, you, you're used to the usual Android. And you hold this. NVIDIA Android devices. Right. So um, Android is right here for development, uh, the development machine. Right. And uh, 
Uh, are you going to, like, Android can probably work on the laptops as well? Well, eventually. So Android, uh, as you know, the present releases are, are set for half VGA displays. As time goes on, they will, uh, they'll be able to support larger displays and then you'll be able to go off and do that. But this is the, this is the standard Android you're all used to. Yeah. And uh, we're working to do, to do media acceleration. We will do spectacular um, multimedia on Android just like we do on So you'll do Windows 1080p on Android? You bet. And uh, how about uh, NVIDIA is usually known for uh, accelerating 3D games and all that. How about all these devices? Will well, they, so they play games? They'll play great games. They'll do... Uh, uh, one of the benchmarks we do is we play uh, Quake on them, Quake 3, and it'll run at about 45 frames a second on these displays. They look spectacular. And it's actually interactively we can play it. So they'll be great games. But also, because these are web-based devices, uh, they'll be um, uh, flash games. You know, the kids want to play um, Club Penguin. Uh, they want to go to Webkins. All those are flash-based games. So because we accelerate this flash, we've got the ability to do all these things web-based game for kids as well. Can you play Quake 3 with the HDMI on an HDTV at 45 frames per second? Maybe yeah, not. I think you can. We, yeah? We've had it at, uh, we've had the interactive Quake 3 running at north of 30 frames a second and it can be displayed on HDMI. That sounds awesome. So, so just to resume, this little $100 laptop... Uh, it's between it, $1 and $200. $100, it replaces the Blu-ray, the no, Xbox... No, 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 not Blu-ray. <laughs> what is it going to replace as well? This is, this is a great web-based okay. device. Okay. Web email, yeah. videos, surfing, gaming, just fun stuff, right? Yeah. It's not going to replace... It doesn't. You're not going to do all your productivity tools. Okay. It's going to be for somebody like you who travels to these shows for a day or two. You carry one of these, you take your notes. Just, the other, just an hour ago, I came out here, somebody was actually posting a story online. Yeah. That's what I did like five minutes ago. Oh, did you do it yeah. here too? Yeah. It's spectacular. But I'm productive, so what are you, what are you saying is not for productive people? Because if you want to run, let's ah. say, Office, Office, you want to create PowerPoints, yeah. do things like that, this isn't the device. You get an ion-based device. But if you want to go off and just have a great web-based experience for a long time, this is the deal. So you don't think that uh, you could perhaps um, virtualize some uh, x86 desktops or if people absolutely need their x86 software, does that make any sense? What no, I'm the right about? thing to do is then you go buy an ion system that costs yeah. three or four hundred dollars and it's just a great Blu-ray disc, Windows 7 capable system, yeah. right? That's what you go off and do. Okay, so you don't think it actually run everything? No. That's, you're not officially saying that yet? No, you, I don't think you want to. No? I think you want to have a device that's really good at what these things go off yeah. and do. And uh, you wouldn't mind if people use bigger screens? 12, we can 13, 14 inches. So we whatever. can, uh, they're, they're, uh, one of our customers is doing a 13 inch. We can drive displays uh, with, a with this first generation of Tegra, Tegra that are uh, 1600 by 1000 pixels. So large displays. Cool. Awesome. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank thanks you. For your time. Thank nice you. meeting you.